So I made uh, two antennas in the past. I made a corner uh, corner reflector, and I made a uh, a little Yagi antenna. And a company reached out to me and says, "Hey, would you like us to measure those things?" <laughs> and uh, this is Antenna Test Lab. They are in Raleigh, North Carolina, and they said, "Yeah, send them our way, and we'll run them. We'll run them through." Um, so they have a nice little office. Uh, with some cool antennas in the uh, show and tell area, but uh, they've got all the right equipment. They've got lots of nice, like Roden Schwartz stuff and all kinds of cool things. Uh, but the very best things are off in the laboratory. Yeah, let's go in the back here where the uh, laboratory is. It's a big anechoic chamber. Um, anechoic just means there's no reflections. Nothing from the outside world gets in and nothing from the inside gets out. So, the, And nothing bounces around. That's the most important thing is there's no no reflections in the room. And so uh, there is a bunch of, uh, bunch of test equipment and then a chamber. And the chamber has all these little foam kind of cones. They're probably carbon filled. Uh, they probably absorb. Uh, they're absorbers for RF radiation and uh, yeah, so here's my little uh, corner reflector there, uh, ready to be tested. Um, here's the uh, re receive antenna. It looks, per looks pretty wild. All right, so uh, everything gets rotated in all different dimensions. Takes about half an hour to uh, measure an antenna. Get swept for frequency and X, Y, Z and all that stuff, and out comes, uh, out comes data. Here's the data that was supplied. Um, they go through some measurements and create a big Excel spreadsheet. Um, I think the next page is basically how the antenna is doing. So this is peak gain in dBi, uh, dB above intrinsic. And... Uh, they are sweeping uh, with different frequencies, okay? So you can see it's not very good at two gigahertz, but at 2,500, it's very good. The antenna was designed for 2,450, so right where my cursor is is where it's being defined, uh, was designed to, and it's measuring about, uh, what is it there, 6 dBi, something like that. All right, they also supplied a file here that lets you look at in 3D at the uh, radiation pattern of the antenna, and that's over frequency as well. So let me put it up here to where it's actually working quite well. Let's put it at 24, 2450 is right there. So you can see that uh, we have a lobe in the X, Y direction, because it's a corner, right? So one of the axes is of the corner is X and one is Y. So most of the radiation is going uh, at a 45 degree angle between the two. And it's going up here into, uh, uh, into a particular color. It's also not in uh, the X, Y plane. It's also pointed downwards in uh, the Z plane at 45 degrees as well, because it is a corner. So we're getting a maximum right here at the edge. And you can see where I point my little cursor. It says it's, uh, oops, it's uh, about 6.2 dBi right there. So that's pretty cool. 6 dBi, corner reflector, very broad, putting energy all into one big kind of quadrant. Yeah, I really like it. And then you can see what happens when the, Frequency goes up or the frequency goes down. Let's turn it so you can see the back here. Here's frequency going up. I'm, I'll play it all the way through. Here's 2000, and I'll just go all the way. You can see uh, we're getting better and better gain towards the front. And then we're getting some funny lobes in the back. Yeah. Here at 3000, it's kind of I've got a funny thing down there at the bottom. Anyway, yeah, really good measurement technique here. Uh, but yeah, they're designed to be right around in there. So it's working perfectly. It's working really, really good. Okay. All right, now we're going to do the same thing for the Yagi. Here it is in the Gannacoke chamber. 
and we are going to spin it all around and make its measurements and see how he does. All right, so the Aggie antenna was measured in the same chamber, and here is its data. Again, we'll go to the z-axis gain here. And again, this is per wavelength, so at its peak, right about yay, is right about 2450. We're getting a peak right around 8 dBi, something like that. Um, we can look at the chart here, 20... 2.25, 2.245, is that right? Yeah, wait a minute. 2.4, 2.6, 8, 2.45, right? 2.45 here. We have a gain of 8.36. Very nice. That's a lot of gain. All right, uh, we can see the antenna here. It looks very weird, kind of what the heck's going on, but th that's at a frequency that wasn't designed for. So let's go up here to 24, 2450. There we go. And we have a, uh, a nice big lobe in the Z direction, which is how it was designed, and uh, small amounts of power in the back lobes. Um, but most of the power is going in the forward direction and up here into the dark red, which is up here around 8 dBi. Yeah, it's a nice little antenna. Very, very good. Okay, let's uh, run it through. Let's see where's a good place to put it. Uh, how about right there? Let's run it through its frequencies here. Go back down to 2. Yeah, look at that. Got one big forward lobe there. At, uh, what is that? 2565. Then a lot of back radiation at the higher frequencies. So that's interesting. Wow. Okie dokie. Yeah, it's fun. Okay, thanks again to Antenna Test Lab in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. I'll leave links down below if you want to contact these guys and have your antennas measured. Um, they do great work.